All right, so just having seen Black Panther Wakanda Forever last night, even after stepping out of the theater, I've been asked this question over and over. Is Black Panther Wakanda Forever better than the first movie? Somebody even called me out on Twitter this morning saying that it's not adding a lot of value to my critique if I'm not able to compare the two because I expressed I didn't want to compare them. Not going to put this person on blast, but I am going to talk a little bit about this today. But hey, if it's your first time on the channel, the name's Leo Rydell. This is Geekly Goods, y'all, where we talk the latest in movies, TV, Marvel, DC, guys, any corner of the Geekverse we can hit. We ain't here on this channel, so hit that big red subscribe button down below. And let's talk a little bit about this because, look, I love both movies so much, and I think they add so much value on their own. I definitely don't want to just sit here and play the compare and contrast game with these two, though, because the unfortunate passing of Chadwick Boseman did very much affect Black Panther Wakanda forever, and I think if Chadwick were still alive, we'd be viewing a much different movie. So I just have a little bit of a problem comparing the two, and that's just me personally, and I'm glad that my other critic friends can compare the two. I definitely think there are some things that the first one does a little better. I think there are some things that the second one does a little better. I think the first one has a little bit of a stronger script. I think the second one has some stronger cinematography. I definitely think there are positives and negatives to both movies, and I'm going to put this on my MCE ranking on Letterboxd. I'm going to put it on a ranking. I'm going to put it in videos. But in terms of directly comparing the two, I just personally can't really do it because of the loss of Chadwick Boseman. It affected this movie completely and entirely. Coogler had to completely rewrite and redo the whole movie. So for me, I just, out of respect for Chadwick, his loss, and knowing that this movie had to be completely changed, I personally just can't really say which movie is better. I love them both. I really enjoy both of them, and I can't wait to own Black Panther Wakanda Forever on Blu-ray. So then that way, I can go ahead and watch them back-to-back. -back. But I think Black Panther Wakanda Forever does serve as a great direct sequel to Black Panther. And what's so nice about both of these movies is they're so self-contained. Yes, there are some little MCU things here and there, but I do think that it stays pretty contained within itself. So even people who don't watch a lot of the Marvel movies can watch Black Panther 1 and Black Panther 2 and grab a really enjoyable experience. Again, there are a couple of references here and there in this one, and you'll know some people from other stuff if you keep up with the MCU a lot. But if you don't keep up with it that much, these two are very smoothly put together to where you can really come in and enjoy both of them together. So for me, my answer is going to be I'm not comparing. That, that's just all I'm saying. I like both movies, but I'm just not going to compare. You guys can let me know, though, once you see the movie, let me know down in the comments which one did you like a little bit more. Hey, you're more than welcome to make the comparisons, but for me, I just want to honor Chadwick, honor what happened with the second one, and I'm just not going to compare. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below, and we'll see you next time on Geekly Goods.